I water ZZ plant weekly twice, fertilize two months once, getting good bright sunlight. But why my ZZ plant dying, not growing? Hello everyone, welcome to Plants on Lens. Most people struggle to grow ZZ plant and you might also have these questions in your mind. Should I use RO water or tap water? How often should I change water? Leaves propagation is faster or stem? Can I grow ZZ leaves faster in soil or water? I have answered all of these questions at the end, otherwise you can select the question section. Now let's talk about ZZ plant. Basically ZZ plant is a cage free plant and best indoor plant for anyone. Also this plant is for someone who don't have much time to give for plants but you would love to have them in your home. Any cage free plant require these elements, water, light, soil and fertilizer. Let's talk about water. We need to understand the need of water for ZZ. This is the one plant does not ask for much water. If you are watering ZZ plant weekly once also, please stop it right now. This plant will survive without water more than a month. Don't have watering schedule and don't follow thumb rule of checking one inch of soil. Instead, allow soil to dry completely and then water it thoroughly. I would suggest to water 15 to 20 days once. Talking about light, ZZ plant does not like more light, so you can place this anywhere in your home except from direct sunlight area. Best thing about this plant is any kind of light condition works from low to bright in direct light. Otherwise, you can also place under the bunch of other big plants. Great news about this plant, if you are a frequent traveler, this is the best plant for you as it will not ask for much water and light. Soil mixture makes a huge difference to this plant. As I said, ZZ plant needs less water, so when you are using soil mixture, keep in mind that soil mixture should not have moist. We must prepare slightly tight soil. I would recommend soil mixture like this. 40% garden soil, 20% compost, 20% sand, 15% perlite and 5% cocoa. Perlite is an optional. If you have wet soil, you can add more perlite in your soil mix. Propagation we all love to make multiple plants from one. How to propagate ZZ plant? You can propagate with stem cutting, leaves and separating the plants. You can grow them in water and transfer to soil or you can grow them directly in soil. Some questions I want to answer them. If you have confusion about RO and tap water, it is okay to use tap water. If you have facility for RO water is an added advantage. If you are growing stem cutting and leaves in water, you can have best results when you change water in 3 to 4 days. With my experience, leaves will grow faster than stem. Just remember, ZZ is a slightly slow growing plant. And again, comparatively ZZ leaves and stems will grow faster in soil than water. I would like to summarize with some tips for you guys. ZZ plants are tend to root bond, so have well drainage holes for good nourishment of the plant. Report when it is popping out of the pot or when you can see potatoes more than soil. This plant does not require much fertilizer. If you still want to give fertilizer, give it after spring. Don't fertilize during winter. Most importantly, don't overwater this plant. Main reason for ZZ plant dying due to overwatering. Thank you for watching. If you like to watch Alocasia Poly Care Guide, video is here. Bye for now. See you there.